Hey, in this video, I'm going to share with you the leading silica gel uses and what they are all about. Uh, before I get started, uh, down below there's this link. If you click on it, I'm giving away a free uh, video guide on giving you tips on using alternative medicine as well as dietary supplements. Now, have you ever purchased a product, maybe with some dietary supplement or maybe with some shoes or an electronic device, and you found this really funky packet called silicone gel? Wonder what the heck is it? What's it doing in this product? Um, well, silica gel is made from the same stuff that sand is made of, and its primary job is to soak up moisture, water, and liquid, and hold it. Now, since too much moisture can be bad for a variety of products like electronics or vitamins or supplements, um, you can see that it preserves the life of the product, and therefore that's a good thing. Now this little packet can absorb 40% of its weight in water. Um, so but you might be wondering, well, how do you know when you can't use the packet and that it's absorbed all the water that it can and that you should, you know, throw it away or whatever? That's a good question. And I've read somewhere that one of these little packets, if you store it in a container, um, it'll last somewhere between 8 to 12 months. Now, it depends on how often you open the container and how much moisture is in the air. But I think, you know, after 6 months, it's probably used up. Um, another idea on how to tell when it's absorbed all the moisture it can is the color. Sometimes it will change color from a white, which means it's brand new to like a, like a bluish color. If it turns out bluish color, you know that, hey, it, it's absorbed all the, the moisture that it can. Uh, now, you can actually remove the moisture um, by sticking it in a microwave. And I've read that you put it on high settings and you can microwave it for three to five minutes and, well, you can reuse it. Uh, another indicator is you look at the color. Did it change from blue to white? Well, then that's a good thing and you can reuse it. Um, now, if you don't have a microwave, you can use an oven. Bad news is, I've read that it takes a lot longer. You gotta stick it on 275 degrees Fahrenheit, and you have to cook it for about 30 minutes to an hour and a half, depending on how many of these things you're gonna be trying to reuse. So you might just wanna just throw it away and get a new one in that, in that situation. And you could buy them, of course, too. Uh, now, any product where too much moisture is bad, uh, you can really use it. Uh, so you might be wondering, what happens if you eat the thing? You swallow it, is that bad? Well, the good news is it's probably not gonna kill you. Um, the bad news is sometimes they use like a toxic ingredient on the outside. So therefore you might get sick, you might feel nauseous, uh, stomach pains, maybe a fever, so that's not good, but it probably won't kill you, so that's good. Now, you're probably like me, and I've always looked at these little packets and going like, okay, well, throw it away. But before you throw it away, you can use these for so many things to really um, benefit the things that you own. And that's part of, man, that's part of the reason why I made this video is to kind of share with you, you know, how you can use these puppies. And there's tons of ideas. I just want to scratch the surface on what you can do. Uh, for example, I, I stay in a very humid environment. I'm in Cambodia right now. It's very humid, and I love playing guitar. The problem is the humidity just destroys the strings. I go through strings really quickly, and I get these in a supplement bottle. Um, so instead of throwing them away, what I could do, what I could do, is I could stick a couple of these bad boys in the guitar case when I store it, and that will soak up the moisture and preserve the strings. So I don't have to replace strings so often. That's one idea. Um, there's a lot more. For example, say you got leather shoes you store, maybe a wallet. I got a leather wallet I store in a case. I could put this thing in that case with a leather wallet and it preserves it. Same thing with the shoes. Um, how about, here's another great idea. How about you drop some electronic device, maybe an MP3 player, a cell phone, and some water. Get some water on it. You want to remove it, the water? Well, you put a couple of these bad boys all over it and it sucks up the moisture. So that can be a great thing. Maybe you store uh, photos someplace, important documents in a case, or baseball cards. I used to collect baseball cards. I don't know. But anyways, you can store some of these things in that case and it preserves the life of them. That's a cool little use for them. So let's talk about the kitchen. There's tons of ways you can use this in the kitchen. For example, 
Maybe you have cases of herbs. So you could stick them in, in the case of the herbs and it preserves the life of them, uh, of the herbs. Uh, you can store them in a drawer that has uh, like metal, like, like scissors or something like that that are going to rust easily. Helps keep the rust away. Maybe potatoes, uh, vegetables, bananas. Keep them from spoiling. Put them in a bag where the bananas are. And bam, there you go. Preserves the life of them. Um, also, those potatoes, so you know, maybe they don't sprout the green things. Uh, brown sugar, so they don't clump together. There you go. Uh, how about razors? You want I shave a ton. I, use, I go through razors. You can preserve, keep the moisture away from them. That's the number way, one way to preserve a razor, I think, is to uh, remove the moisture and dry it after you use. And razors will last a long time. Save you some cash there. Uh, how about you store metal ornaments for, like, say, Christmas that can be used? Um, fishing flies. Uh, here's another great idea. How about you go to a gym? You have a gym bag and it smells. Well, you could put some of these things in your your gym bag, and it helps keep it fresh, and so it doesn't stink. You know, it's a good idea. Uh, how about uh, ammo cases, guns? If you store that, uh, you know, keeping silver from tarnishing. Um, another great idea, because I travel a ton, is say I don't have enough time to dry out my swim shorts. Well, I could put a bunch of these things where my swim uh, trunks are in my travel bag, and soaks soaks up the moisture. Uh, and even my luggage, to, so it doesn't smell and stink. So as you can see, there's really tons of uses for it. And you know, anything where you want to keep moisture out, it could be used for. Okay. Now, like I mentioned before, there's this link below where I'm actually giving away this uh, video guide um, all about alternative medicine and supplements. And if you are interested in that, uh, because I know when it comes to supplements, there's a lot of confusion out there. Same thing with herbs and alternative medicine. Um, I, I did a bunch of research and. I found some really killer ideas on tips on shopping for these types of products and using them. Some great ideas. And I understand your time start. I understand you're very busy. So what I did was I, I made it so you can get the information that you want very, very quickly, which I think is important. Um, I had a lot of fun making it. It's completely free. I guarantee you're going to learn some things which you will be, will use, be, blah, blah, blah be useful to you, will save you money, and will benefit you. I guarantee you, even now, um, sometime in the future, because the reality is our bodies, the older we get, it starts to break down. And we do need to fight back. We need to preserve our health. It's very important. Uh, we need to solve these health problems you know, without turning to uh, the expensive Western ideas in medicine. So there's a lot of killer ideas. I think you should check it out. Just click that link below if you want to learn more. This video is long enough. Thanks for watching. If, if you learned a couple things, you thought it might be useful or handy, please hit the thumbs up button, okay? That means a lot to me. And have a very wonderful rest of your day. And bye.